Well, Jordan, thank you so much for uh, sitting down with me this morning. Uh, of course, thank you for, for being here. Yeah, this has been an amazing experience. I guess, tell me a little bit about, um, you know, it's funny, I was looking over your bio and seeing that you worked, um, you know, with Nickelodeon, HBO's, True Blood, um, Comedy Central, and then you find yourself here yeah. with this set, this amazing cast, this amazing team. And you can't help but notice, you know, kind of the stark differences that I'm sure are yeah. there. Tell me from kind of from that perspective. So, you know, the the energy and the atmosphere on The Chosen is really unique. It, it, it's united people in a way that I haven't really seen on, on many other projects, regardless of, you know, the cast and crew's background or upbringing or system of faith or lack thereof. Everyone has been able to kind of come together and and be focused on telling this story in the best way that they can because we believe it's a powerful story and, and we all uh, believe in, in the message of the story and in these characters and, and bringing them to life. And it's such an honor to be a part of that. Uh, and everyone is so, unlike, you know, usually on a film set, there's, there's one or two uh, troublemakers, or maybe there's a diva or things like that. But on this, there's none of that. There's no big egos. Uh, there's, there's no divas. It's all a, a collaborative, safe space where everyone's so supportive of each other. Even when we're not shooting The Chosen, in between seasons, we're supportive of each other's other work and checking in with each other. And it's uh, you know, it really is a, a like a family. It's it's an amazing, amazing group of people. So of course you play little James. Talk about, I mean, I, I would only imagine it's got to be life-changing. I mean, the content here that you're having to research and, and portray, I mean, is so deep. I mean, yeah. has it been life-changing for you? It has. I mean, in, in more ways than one, uh, playing little James has has changed so much of my life. Uh, not Not just in my career, but my, my personal life, like I mentioned, all of the relationships I've been able to make through the show. Um, and on a deeper level, uh, as far as little James's disability, uh, I also, you know, I have cerebral palsy and scoliosis. So Dallas Jenkins, the creator of The Chosen, embracing that and making it part of my character has kind of forced me to be more vulnerable than I ever had been and to... I guess, shine a spotlight on the thing that I was the most insecure about and the thing that I felt ashamed of. You know, I felt like I had given, been given this, this uh, gift for acting and this passion for acting, but then I felt like I also had this curse that was going to prevent me from ever making a career out of it. Um, but then Dallas came along and decided to make it part of the character and it added this whole other layer and it's been cathartic in a lot of ways because I've been able to work through some of that and it's helped me learn to love myself a little bit more and to, you know, accept the things that make me different and hopefully that can, you know, I can pass it on to some of the viewers to, to know that just because they're different doesn't mean they're broken. I love that you brought this up. That's where I wanted to go to next because I think so much of you know, what The Chosen highlights, what I love about the show that drawn, you know, that drew me to it was the idea that God chooses people when you think that you're not enough, when you think that you're not good enough, when you think that whether it's mental, physical, whatever the case yeah. may be, God can use you wherever you're at, whatever, you know, current situation you're in. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things that sometimes you're, you're, the thing that you perceive as yeah. your greatest weakness can be your greatest strength. And it's something that I've come to the realization of as well. I used to view my limp as such a weakness and, and this thing that was preventing me from realizing my full potential. But now that I've, I've been able to lean into it a little bit more, it's not only given me other opportunities as an actor, it's something that, you know, they always say in acting class, like find the thing that sets you apart. And I always tried to hide my limp, but now it's like, no, that's the thing that sets me apart. I should embrace it. Um, but it's also given me the, the, honor and the privilege of kind of hopefully being a, a beacon of hope for other actors that have disabilities to see that they can do it as well. So uh, yeah, it's it's such an honor getting to, to play Little James. Right.